Hey guys, it's Custom Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the greatest video quality out of the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Now, I'm using my DJI Phantom 3 standard in this video because, one, it's the only drone that I own at the moment, and two, because everything else in the DJI lineup, everything on up from the DJI Phantom 3 standard, should be able to apply to everything I'm saying in this video. So yeah, now that that has been said, let's get into the video. So for the first step to getting greater video, this may seem a little bit obvious to most people, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you're recording to the SD card of your drone and not to your phone. So make sure that you have an SD card in your drone. For me, it's just on top right there for the standard. Another thing that goes along with that that you're definitely gonna need is a micro SD card to an SD card converter or a micro SD card to USB converter. Either one works, the micro SD to SD converter just comes with pretty much almost every single micro SD card that you can buy out on the market, so that's why I'm using that today. So after you've connected your drone and powered everything on, you're actually gonna wanna go into settings and change a couple of things first. So first off, what you're gonna wanna do is go to these three little lines over here and go to the camera page. Now many people probably actually don't know this, but when you first purchase the drone, DJI defaults everything to I believe 1080p and to get the maximum quality out of your drone which for the standard is 2.7k you're gonna have to go and click on the 2.7k option and as you can see there is 24 frames per second option or 30 frames per second and since I shoot all my videos in 30 frames per second I'm gonna choose that after that just go back and then the video format you can choose what you want if you want MOV or MP4 which since I work on Mac I always use MOV after that you can change the colors many people typically ask me what the heck do you shoot in so I typically only ever shoot in normal because why not so uh, I shoot in that I mean there's other color profiles that definitely change the way the actual color looks but I just like the way that normal looks because many people just I don't know many people leave comments on my videos saying that that looks good so I just leave it on normal anti flicker I have set to 50 Hertz and for style I just have standard opposed to landscape soft or custom and uh, yeah, that's what I have that set to. And auto white balance. Pretty much everything I have is set to auto. So main thing, as you saw, was changing in settings to 2.7K, which if you have a higher up, more new DJI drone, those typically can shoot in 4K, so you can select that option as well. So now that you've changed all those things, you're going to want to make sure that obviously you choose record on your phone, and then just get to taking off and getting some shots. So once you've got your drone up into the air, obviously you're going to want to take some shots with it. That's what you're doing this entire thing for. So see if I can find some interesting places to record. Probably won't. Typically not that interesting where I live. I don't know. Let's do a function mode. Let's go point of interest. So as you can see right now, I'm just recording a point of interest mode, which um, it's not really seeming like it's working. <laughs> I set the POI point to where I'm standing right now, and it's probably due to the wind right now, but uh, okay, so we got that shot. Land it. Obviously when you land it, you're gonna have to power off your drone. This is all mentioned in that video up there. So now we've landed it, now you're probably wondering, well, how do you get your footage and how do you get the highest quality footage? So I'm gonna be showing you that right now. So at this point, many people are probably like, oh, do 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 do. I can just go into my DJI Go app and go into editor and look at that. There's my video right there on my phone. Now that is true that the video that you recorded will show up on your phone, but the thing is, is that even though it shows up on your phone, on your phone is not at full quality. So through the DJI Go app, you can create short little movies and stuff, but I'm not gonna be going into that in today's video, but I just wanna show you that this really is not the highest quality footage that you can get from the DJI Go app. Because 
of that, you're probably asking yourself, well, where do you get the highest quality footage then? Well, that is where the micro SD card comes in that I was talking about earlier. So the thing is, is on your drone, there's this micro SD card that many people don't actually know about, and you're gonna have to go and take that out. Make sure that you put the micro SD card into your SD card converter or to your USB converter. Get yourself to your nearest computer, which in my case is a MacBook Pro. Plug in the SD card, and then on your desktop, you'll see that the actual SD card pops up on your computer. So from there, you just click on your SD card, obviously, open up DCIM, 100 media, and then look at that. All right here is all your drone footage that you shot, and it's in the highest quality possible, 2.7K. So that was me just syncing the video, but if you have many different shots, look at that. Here is the highest quality media that you can actually get out of your drone. So now that you've got this plugged into your computer and all, then now you can just go and either move this to your computer or move it into your favorite editing software, which in my case, I use Final Cut Pro. When you're actually editing, you can either go and change your settings to 4K, which I always do on all my projects because I shoot all my videos in 4K other than the drone shots. Or you could go and just change it to 2K, or you could have it auto set so when you import footage, it will actually go and just import at 2.7K. So I'm gonna import this right here, click on import selected, and then from there, you've got your drone footage right here. And as you'll see, it does auto set the actual resolution, click OK, and there you go. Now from there, you can obviously, if you have an editor, you probably know that you're gonna have to export your video. So on Final Cut Pro, that's just clicking on share and then master file or whatever you're wanting to export in. And I just wanna mention that you actually can import directly to the DJI Go app from your drone's SD card. But I just find importing to my computer is the simplest way possible because I always edit on there. But because most people don't have a computer to edit on and they don't really care, they just want the videos on their phone, how to do that is you have to make sure that you have your controller connected and your drone connected and then you just go on the DJI Go app, go into the editor section right here and then on the top just click on this little button right here. Then on the bottom you'll see onboard SD so you just click on that and for me I'm not connected to my drone right now but if you were, then it would actually pop up and allow you to import the videos directly to your phone. But like I said, I always import onto my computer because that's where I edit on. And some phones actually have some compatibility issues with doing that. So I'm not sure if that actually gives you the fullest quality possible, but somebody make sure to let me know down in the comments below. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to suggest future videos for me, make sure to leave those down in the comments below. If you haven't already and you're new to this channel, make sure to click the button below to subscribe as well. And if you haven't already, turn on notifications while you're at it because then you can check out my videos as soon as I release them. Also, if you'd like to check out another video from me, my last video should be up there and some random video should be down there. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.